And what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an indicator template on TradingView. Now, I've essentially taken out an excerpt from a tutorial video I did on the Mango Dynamic, where I essentially show users how they can create a template for the Mango Dynamic specifically. However, you can use this on any indicator whatsoever. It is the same process. Alrighty, so sit back and enjoy. To create a template of the Mango Dynamic Indicator, I want you to click on the square made up of four other squares. Okay, it says Indicator Templates. As soon as you click on it, the very, very first option on that list says Save Indicator Template. All right? So just click on that and you'll be presented with this pop-up. Now, all you got to do is fill in a template name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name this Z Dynamic. All right, I'll tell you why I named it Z. Um, in a bit, but then the next two options, it says remember symbol and remember interval. Now I suggest leaving those two blank, okay? Because if you click on rem remember symbol, every time you toggle on the template, it's going to take you to the Bitcoin USD chart, which is our current symbol, okay? And if you click on remember interval, every time you toggle on the Mango Dynamic template, it will always take you to the weekly time frame. Now, if you want to be a bit fluid with the Mango Dynamic Indicator and you want to be able to pull it up on various tickers as well as various intervals, I suggest leaving that blank. Now with that, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now what I'm going to do is get on over to my Indicator Templates list. Okay, scroll all the way down to Z Dynamic. That's what I named my, my indicator. And I'm going to click on the star right next to it. And as soon as I clicked on the star, there's a Z symbol that showed up on my chart right there. Okay, so if I go ahead, clear out my chart right now, and then click on Z dynamic, voila. All right, it just pops up on my chart with just one button. And that's how you save it as a template. That way you have easy peasy access to it. Now, before I move on over to the components of the Mango Dynamic, I wanted to let you guys know that I marked it out with a Z primarily because it does not clash with another alphabet on my templates list. Right, as you can see, if I, I already have an M on my templates list called a Mango Vine. However, if I name this, if I name the template Mango Dynamic, it would show up as another M on my list, making it very, very confusing. Right, so it's about having it such that it is a unique alphabet on your templates list if you have multiple templates like me. And there you have it. That's how you can create an indicator template on TradingView. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. And well, if you think that this video could help someone else out there, go ahead and share it with them as well. That would make a huge difference to them as well as to this channel. All right, with this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.